Welcome to another video. My name is Raul and I'll be guiding you. Let's get started with creating an app in your PayPal developer account. Let's begin by navigating to developer.paypal.com. At the top right, we can click on Login to Dashboard. You can log into your live production PayPal account that will allow you to access both your live as well as your sandbox apps but you can also log into a PayPal developer account. If you need to know how to create a PayPal developer account, we also have steps on how you can do that. So please review that video as well. The first page that you land on should be my apps and credentials. By default, you are looking at sandbox apps. If you wanna create a live app to get live credentials, go ahead and switch this to live. I'll be demonstrating both, but I'll start with the live apps. Now we can click on create app. You can give this app a memorable name that makes sense for what you're using it for. For a live, it's as simple as naming it. Let's switch pages to what it looks like when creating a sandbox app so I can go over that. As you can see, a bit more options. We want to also give this a name and then we want to leave this on merchant unless you're using our marketplace solution. We want to make sure that this app is connected to a PayPal sandbox account email shown here. If you created one recently and you want to create an app that is linked to that specific sandbox email, make sure that you find it in this drop down menu so that it's linked properly. Let me switch back to my live app example here. And whether you're doing live or sandbox app, the next step would be to click on create app. Our app is now created. If you merely needed to create this so that an app could pre populate for you while using any of our button builders, then you can stop the video here and continue using those other tools. This app should now be pre populated for you. I'll continue the app settings. You'll see the associated PayPal account email address here, as well as the client ID. Many platforms also require the secret, so you can click on show, and that will also provide you the secret. Clicking on it one time will highlight it all for you so that you can copy it. If we scroll down, you can see additional settings based on features that you need to enable. We also give you a webhook section where you can add webhooks if needed. Let's click on add a webhook. And here you can add a webhook URL as well as decide which event types will be sent to that webhook URL. Once you are done, you can click on save. We have now successfully created an app in your PayPal developer portal. 